This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Need for Speed Unbound, specifically five things I love about Need for Speed Unbound. So with the very clickbaity uh, clip that I had at the end of last week where I was talking about the legacy of Need for Speed Unbound and due to a lot of weird decisions, it's not going to be remembered well, I don't think. It makes me feel a little bit sad because this is a decent game. Uh, it was pretty easy to say that I wasn't expecting to play another Need for Speed Unbound uh, gameplay again this next week. So considering that Need for Speed Unbound is free this weekend and is only $21 for purchase during this time frame, I figured I'd discuss the five things that I enjoyed about Need for Speed Unbound as a way to influence people to purchase this game. So enjoy! Number one, the thing that I enjoy about Need for Speed Unbound is actually one of the more recent things about Unbound which is link ups. I'm going to be honest, I suck at them. I honestly really suck at it. But for the little bit of time that I've played them, I've I really enjoyed them. It's added a nice element of variety. It's added an element of cooperation within the online environment. And at the detriment of not having a higher player count, I think this kind of mini game event is a really nice touch where you can only do it every now and again you know every eight minutes or four to eight minutes i think is the official time frame and it's just a bunch of these little challenges like smash these barrels or do some drifts that kind of stuff avoid cops is crash into cops try not to crash into other people i don't know this these little fun quirky challenges in a very time sensitive manner makes it incredibly enjoyable because it's new. It's, it's something I never would have expected out of a Need for Speed game, if I'm honest. So I've I've been enjoying it. I really have been. And I hope you all in the community have been enjoying them as well, considering that there hasn't been many updates to Unbound since launch. But when we finally get new game modes like this, Please let the developers know that we enjoy this, that they should continue being unique and different and trying new things and try not to be afraid of pushing the boundaries because yeah, it comes out with these little diamonds in the rough where these really awesome mini games show up. And like I said, I'm very happy with it. So Criterion, keep up the good work. It's, it's really fun. Number two on the list of favorite things that I enjoy about Need for Speed Unbound is both kind of graphics, but mainly art styles. So this one will be very controversial. I know not a lot of people will necessarily enjoy this one, but I actually don't mind the art style. Kind of like I was saying before, the idea of Criterion trying new things and reinventing the wheel or trying graphically speaking new things i know that their main push was to focus on just next generation consoles which was an interesting idea but i think at the end kind of hindered them just from the standpoint that not many people had the next generation consoles and not many people had graphics cards graphics cards capable of ray tracing and all that kind of fun garbage but when you discount all that stuff, I think Criterion did a very good job with having a very unique art style and an art style that definitely pushed graphics cards. I know a lot of these reflections and all this stuff going on on screen right now definitely isn't cheap on the processor. It's it's very heavy in a lot of different aspects. And like I was saying, the art style with the graffiti effects and all that kind of stuff. Need for Speed is a franchise known for trying new things. And when they tried out this open world kind of game with cops and like this graffiti style and 
all this the other thing it became a hit and that was most wanted 2005 so in a way them trying to do for lack of better words anime inspired effects and having like uh cell shaded cars and people and the rest of it i mean it's them trying new things and the thing about it is sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so in my opinion i think it worked out i think they tried for something completely maybe not revolutionary that's a little bit too big of a word there <laughs> But I think, honestly, they tried for something new, and I, I appreciate the attempt at something new, you know? So my third favorite thing about Need for Speed Unbound is, of course, the cops. And many of you are probably immediately going to go, hey, why are we talking about cops Unbound? They're much worse in, in, in Bound than in Heat. And my thought is, well, it's better to have some cops than no cops, because let's think about the AAA racing games that have been released recently and how many of them have cops. I know for a fact LEGO 2K Drive doesn't. I know that uh, the Crew Motorfest probably won't. Crew 2 definitely really doesn't have any official police chases per se. Uh, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crow? Do we even know if have cops? Probably not. I know for a fact Forza of Horizon 5 doesn't. I mean... So you can kind of see where I'm going here, where it's... Yes, we're struggling with some of the cop AI as we always do with Need for Speed, but the matter of the fact is I like having some cops or I like games that have cops because it adds an extra interesting dynamic layer of about like potentially having to be stealth or having to, you know, worry about your car health or, you know, just having these really dramatic cinematic moments where you're outmaneuvering these police in these high speed chases and whatnot. Or like we're doing right now where we're trying to escape. So we're like trying to either find like a good cool down spot or just make sure that we're always on the move looking out for cops. The fourth favorite thing that I enjoy about Need for Speed Unbound is also customization. So again, a lot of you are like, oh, come on, these are kind of give me's. And again, not necessarily, because if we think about some of the most recent racing games, F123, this has just got a livery ed editor, well, obviously. Forza Horizon 5 has incredibly limited things that you can change. I mean, you can change the wheels, and then you can change, like, a side skirt, and then a spoiler. But I mean, for Unbound to have, like preset body kits like that or kind of like in heat where you can go ahead and edit the fenders i mean man and of course the different types of headlights and the wing mirrors uh the difference and then there is the freaking the rear bumper like removal i mean guys that's just uh, I, I love the fact that you can remove, like, car parts in this game. It's super sweet. So, no, I mean, again, this is not always a gimme. So, I want to, you know, tell Criterion again on the things that they're doing great. And the body kits and the bumpers and the customization, yes, is very similar to Heat. But, I mean, Heat was pretty damn good. So, don't don't fix what ain't broke the last final thing that is my favorite thing about need for speed unbound is more of a generalization maybe not specific to this game but just again in general is that need for speed as a franchise has been going on for nearly 30 years it is we're in year 29 as we speak so the fact that we have a game series that for the most part has been releasing games at least one every three years for the past nearly 30 years is awesome and i have and because of it because this is one of my favorite gaming franchise gaming franchises in general i even have a tattoo of it on my ankle it's the need for speed logo and again it's just we don't see many franchises last this long, and we all know for a fact that racing game franchises were kind of a fad 
back in the mid 2000s where we had a bunch of different like really great series and then by the 2010s they're all gone so the fact that somehow some way need for speed survived that and it still sells millions of copies even though that we can consider that this is maybe not a commercial flop but definitely isn't doing great you know i'm i'm happy for the franchise to still be here and that's one of my favorite things about need for speed is still going i'm not going to say going on strong but still going <laughs> for nearly 30 years and there are even remote rumors about uh, need for speed most wanted being uh, reported to be released in 2024 and as much as i don't want a need for speed no, uh, most wanted remake it would be kind of cool to see something of that kind of nature release exactly 30 years after the fact because the first one road and track presents the need for speed that was 94 so something to celebrate 30 years would be quite a momentous occasion in my mind so let me know down in the comment section below what your guys' favorite things about Unbound are. Because there are a lot of cool things about this game. I didn't even touch on wheel support. That's, in my mind, kind of cool, too. So again, let me know what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell up in the corner there. Let you guys all know when I'm posting content, which is, of course, every Friday at about 10 a.m. Central Time. So stay tuned for next week where I don't know what we're doing again. We got two weeks until F1 Manager 23, which I will definitely be roasting that in two weeks. So stay tuned for that. And of course, you know, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.